Hi Shadowbox subscribers! I am so excited to share with you this exclusive video just for my subscribers on how to use the shadows that you have collected so far. So you have three new shadows this quarter. Um, I do everything by quarter because that way it helps people, you know, if they wanna jump on in in the middle of the year, they can do so and start and get the full collection of the 12 months. They would just start, you know, mid-year and then continue through um, the end of the year and then another six months through the following year. So, um, I want to show you the three shadows that you've collected this quarter and um, these are great for this season because you're going to get a lot of different uses out of it. Um, the very first shadow that you collected was your January shadow and this is a matte taupey color. This is going to be your everyday, you're going to use it all the time. This shadow color is Pretty much I have two or three different crease colors out of my 50 that I have that I sell and I use basically this one and maybe two others so every single day so you're gonna use this one all the time I wanted to make sure you had it first so that you can use it and um, it's a matte color and it's going to be your mid-tone color it's gonna go up in your crease and then your second color that you collected was crystal pink and crystal pink is a very cool tone pink color. You can see that I love this color because it's almost, you know, all the way through. But um, this crystal pink color is a great lid color. And it's a matte tone as well. And um, I'm going to show you a combination between those two that you're going to want to use every day. And then the third color was March. And this is Oyster Pearl. Oyster Pearl is a very much of a shimmer metallic tone it's going to be beautiful on your lid and I'm going to show you how to use that as well so let's get started first off I'm going to show you two different looks with these three colors I'm going to do one look on one eye using two colors and another look on this eye using all three colors and you're going to want to prime your face so with your subscription your initial order you got my very top seller eye primer and i'm going to show you how to apply um we're going to take a brush this is a concealer brush it's great to get into wet products so you're going to put the primer all the way from the lashes all the way back on up to underneath the brow now I'm gonna tell you, you can use your fingers. So I won't tell anybody, but you can definitely use your fingers with this one if you feel like you can get a good application. Otherwise, take a good concealer brush. Now, I don't know what brushes you girls have, and you're more than welcome to come in. You have the entire time to redeem your um, eyeshadow lesson so you get a free eyeshadow lesson that's where you come in with your brushes and your shadows and we play and you get ideas and you I get to see how you're applying and then I can help you if you're doing some something wrong with your brush you're using the wrong brush or you're doing something with application so it's a great one-on-one -on -one. and if you're not here locally that's totally fine too we can do a video chat and that way we can both see each other so that would be fun too so I want to see your brushes. I want to know how you're using them and that's a great way to do that. So you have your primer. Now, I mean, just right there, you have given your eyes a great blank canvas. Without a primer like this, you are not going to get the shadow to show true to color. So you definitely want to get that primer on using it every single day. So on this side here, I'm gonna use my crystal pink on my lid. This is my everyday look. And you're just going to get into the product and sweep it across the lid. So halfway, you know, if you were to picture from here to here, from your lash line to your brow, you know, all the way, we're only gonna go halfway. So we're gonna go halfway down, okay? And then with your crease brush, you know, girls, how much I love this crease brush if you watch me on Facebook. And um, this crease brush, brush, there's nothing like it. There's no other kits that have it. Um, it's very hard to find something like this in a store. So, um, you know, it just really gets exactly where you need to because of the point and the shape of the brush. So it holds the correct amount of product and it's gonna be perfect to apply 
um, your crease color. So this, I have to tell you, there's two things that people typically do wrong. When I have lessons here in my studio, I constantly see everybody do this. They start putting their shadow on that inner part of the eye. So let's think about this. You have a lot of product on your brush and you know, if you start right here, you're gonna get all that product inside the corner of your eye. You're not gonna like that, it doesn't look cute. So we actually want to try and get in the habit of placing that product on the outer edge of the eye. Um, so let's talk about where we're gonna place it because I really don't want you in the crease, like in where that eye socket is. I almost want you on top of the bone but not all the way up to the brow. So we are going to, in a sweeping motion, it's almost like a rainbow, and then come down and kind of build some color on this outer edge of the eye. It's very, very simple. Back and forth, down to the outer edge of that corner of your eye. Okay, so that's gonna be your everyday look. Goes with everything, it's very simple, um, but you're gonna really have just a nice, more refined look. And then my second look for you girls is going to be using this gorgeous oyster pearl color oyster pearl color. So you're going to put this on your lid. So we take our fluffy brush. This brush is called the chisel fluff brush. And what's nice about this brush is it holds a lot of product. So you really get good coverage because you get a lot of product on that brush and it spreads it right on in. So I'm going to try and get a lot on here so you can really see what I'm doing. And this is really good if you're wearing browns or greens or earth tones, and this would go really well with that. And so you got that beautiful kind of shimmery color. And then, again, you're gonna use your crease color, so you're gonna use this one all the time. And this is my treasure chest. And again, kind of back and forth and building color on the outer edge of the eye. So go higher than you think. So the two things that people do that I see all the time and they get kind of frustrated with is they start here. So if you noticed, I always start on the outer edge and then blend that color in. And then the second thing they do is they go too low. So they're only kind of building color up here and then the rest of their eye doesn't really have any color. Well, you see a lot of this and you wanna have some color up here. Typically, I only do matte colors up here. I don't want too much shimmer because this part is already kind of pushed out and protruding. When you have shimmer, that also highlights and brings that to the forefront. So I wanna use a matte color to kind of bring that back, but I wanna have just kind of a, a nice even tone color there. Nothing too bright, nothing too colorful. And then I'm going to take my crystal pink and I'm going to put that right under my brow. And it just kind of softens and it looks really pretty. So those are your two looks, very versatile and um, you know, you can wear them pretty much every single day. And so one other thing I want to share with you with shadow box is, you know, I would love your friends to join in on this too. And anyone can join in on the quarter. So March is the end of this quarter. You have your three colors now. So April 1st is the first um, time that, you know, a new batch of people can come in on the shadow box. So um, any of your friends that would like to join, please let them know. And I've got a Facebook video that you can share with them. That way they can see what shadow box is all about. Um, I will, as a thank you, send you a gift and your friend a free gift, just as a thank you for um, letting them know about Scene Cosmetics Shadow Box. Um, any of these brushes that you girls maybe are in need of, those you can get on the website, scenecosmetics.com. And if you have any troubles picking out a brush, you know, I'm always just a message away. So feel free to email me, feel free to send me an instant message on Facebook or, you know, put a comment on the Facebook. I always do everything, um, you know, to respond to those as quickly as possible. And, um, 
anybody, I do what's called unboxings. Unboxings, I'm sure you've seen them on Facebook before, but it's really fun. It's where you can um, show your friends what you're doing. And so an unboxing is, is where you kind of get your package, you take a video of yourself, you know, opening up your shadow box that you received. That's upside down. <laughs> but, um, and then, you know, you kind of open it up in front of the camera. You tell people what shadow box is and what you've been getting and how much you love it. And then you reveal the actual shadow, you know, you open it up and you reveal the shadow that you get. And it's kind of a fun way to get a genuine reaction of, um, the shadow box for that month. So it's it's an unboxing. It's showing people what the new color is. So as a thank you for those people who are doing unboxings for me, if you'd be interested in doing that for next month or the following months, I give you an exclusive shadow. It's a you know 13th shadow um that you are going to really want to have so it's a surprise shadow and everybody's getting the same one it's the one that i really had a hard time deciding you know should i do this one or that one this one or that one i had just a really hard time i have 50 eyeshadows and i had just i was struggling to get it down to just the 12 that would be universal for everybody so there's a 13th shadow that you want to get and you can get that by doing an unboxing for me so um, I'm excited to share this exclusive video with you and I'm excited for you to learn more different ways how to apply eyeshadows. So I look forward to our next video when we get our next three shadows and I will share with you some more color combination ideas. Thank you again. Bye-bye.